Welcome to another Telltale Books video. I'm Greg. I'm getting back in this video to my Robert E. Howard series that I've started. If, you, if you've seen the recent video I did, you know that I got a hold of a book full of his juvenile works from high school. School Days in the Post Oaks. It's a very interesting book. It's it's a mixture of stories and poetry and newspaper clippings that mention his family as well as stuff that that's just about the town and the school and what's going on in the area. Cross Plains and Brownwood at the very at the time when when he was in um, when he was a senior in high school. So it's a very interesting book, and I've already already reported on the first two stories. His first two stories published, West is West and Golden Hope Christmas. Both of those were Western stories. The third story he published, again in the Tattler, which was the school news, which was basically the school newspaper. The February 15th, 1923 edition of the Tattler had Aha! or The Mystery of the Queen's Necklace. Howard's third sto story, it was a very short story, and it was a detective story. Okay, this is going to be a short video because I'm not going to go into the details of the story. It was a detective story. It was very obviously inspired by Sherlock Holmes. It was really, really short stories. So there's not much to it. Just the detective figuring out about the Queen's necklace and and going through his deductive reasoning of how he figured it out. And so it's like three pages done. Um, I didn't think it was very good. It was really, it was really basic, and reminded me too much of. Um, Edgar Allan Poe's detective stories that Emily and I just recently did Murders in the Room Morgue. We haven't put that video up yet at the time that I'm shooting this on October 24th, 2024, but we have read it and shot the video. And what I didn't like about it was that it just was the steps of deductive reasoning. And there really wasn't anything more to the story. Well, this is the same way. And I'm hoping Sherlock Holmes won't be that way. Because I've always wanted to read Sherlock Holmes. But if Sherlock Holmes is going to be like these. Where it's just somebody sitting around t talking about how brilliant he is. Figuring things out. Then, eh. I don't like that. I don't like that kind of story. And so I didn't like this story much. If you like that kind of thing. Then, it's... I don't think it's bad, but I wanted more to it. I want more than just a detective sitting there explaining how brilliant he is. So that was Aha. Uh -huh. um, at this point, it, I mean, good writing, but so would many, many other seniors in high school be able to write this well at this point it's not really showing where he would even though everybody was saying how terrific a writer he was at this time i don't see where it is all that terrific and and it, it's not really showing me where he's going to go and he's not you know he's he's writing ripoffs of sherlock holmes and Western, simple little Western Christmas stories. There's nothing here suggesting where he's going to end up with his writing in a few years. So it, I don't see the real Robert Howard developing yet. I think I'm assuming we're going to gradually see these stories shift towards that kind of thing and, and become a lot better. But at this time, it's too early to, to, uh, tell anything so have you ever happened to have read this story 
leave the comments you have in the comment section of the video. Otherwise, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and come on back for more. Got a lot more Robert E. Howard to go through. The next one is going to be Unhand Me Villain, which was published two weeks later in, in March of 1923. So come on back for, those, for that and all the other Robert E. Howard and all the other authors that I talk about here on Telltale Books.